That's where they wash their hands. Now go eat this and planting. Hey! Wow, you remember me? I pray. Oh, that remember me. That's the real guy. That's the real guy. That's the real guy. That's the real guy. Oh, my brother. Well done. Why don't Mama do that for me? She no go remember me. No, she no remember me. No, remember me. My husband said tell me say you. Say you see me. What happened? Well done. Your food didn't. Your food didn't switch. Say me I give you. Nothing. Ha 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 yeah, now I'm going to keep my family. Uh, we were able to do video call with Collins yesterday. Okay. Uh, right on, Max. That time we small. You tall for my eye. Now you don't tall for my eye again. I don't catch up. I don't, I don't follow tall now. Uh, but you doing okay now? That's you fresh. Fresh? You fresh? Oh my God, I think you fresh. Well done, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Hello. 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 I like this your bet Marco. It fits you. Wow. Uh, yeah. Do you like it? It's nice. It's, it's so soft. Your skin is so soft. Because you eat good food, is that why? Yeah. Why is it so soft? Oh wow. Chop knuckle. You go grab. That's very correct. I like this. Beautiful. Which one have That's the pot of You know they hear English. You want me to sweet well well? No. Who made sweet well well? Well done, man. <laughs> they did. They did. We even talked with colleagues yesterday for video call. Yeah, so. They are still they look everything. <laughs> yeah, I want it here. Yeah. I want beans, no beans, plantain, rice, and stew. Half half. Sure you understand me? Sure you understand me? Shall I go for finish? I know my put rice. I want rice and stew, and I still want beans and plantain. I put. I just want to taste everything. Oh, yeah, beans. They have takeaways as well. These ones are takeaways. Uh, you know, fish day. Thank you. 
Where is spoon there? In the table. On the table, okay. You grab spoon. They have, a, they have a basket and their spoons in here. You just grab one. There's my food. I have beans. I have plantain. So that is fried plantain. I wanted fish. They have different things, but I want fish. And then white rice and stew, and that is uh, beans. So it's actually this woman has been cooking since I was a kid. And in those days we couldn't afford it, but now I can. <laughs> I can't. I can't to the point that I can choose to eat beans and rice and everything in one plate. I can't go for my life, I'm not gonna lie. My family will have come a long way. Mm. Thank you, my sister. I don't know. I don't know. There's give me water. Then one way, four way, way. Give me a go manager. Thank you, ma. My own one nine. Everything I ate, everything I ate, the rice, the beans, and everything is one thousand nine hundred, which is less than about one euro ten cents. That was delicious. Anybody living in Benin, or if you visit Benin, try it. It's called Mama Collins. So that's 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 one of that's one of the, that's one of her children. Her elder brother is my friend, and we were all kids then. We were all small then, but we're all grown people now. So yeah, I almost missed it. I was like, I must eat here before I cry. So, may I give you pounds? Why you say may I give you pounds? Now pounds you they say now. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. I say I no go go. I no go eat food for you. So my brother, what can I do? Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. It's nice to say bye bye to your mother. Are they go? Bye bye. Take care. Even you to eat too. I don't want to take you the <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Benin has been so far, did I hurt my face? Benin has been so far the busiest. I'm in Benin at the moment, at the house of one of my younger brothers. Uh, I have been so busy in Benin. See, busy is busy. You know, Benin is my hometown. When I say hometown, then I think I've explained it in one of the videos. Hometown is actually, it's not just where you were born, but where you were raised. So, yeah. So, yeah, I was raised in Benin. So. Uh, it's not surprising I've spent this much time in Benin because um, it's a place I know, it's a place that is home to me, do you know what I mean? Um, like that, Benin is where I spent the most part of my life in Nigeria. If I put all the time I, sp I spent in Nigeria together, if I put all the time I spent in Nigeria together, Benin is where I spent the most time. Um, maybe about 17 years of my life something like that i hope i'm not making a mistake but anyway so tomorrow i'm taking a flight back to lagos and uh, yeah you okay my one of one of my brother's children she's here watching me talk to the camera so i am so tired i can't even explain out how tired i am but at the same time i want to speak about nigeria 
oh my goodness nigeria is sad you know when you see all these things going on the situation of the country is not getting better you know the situation of the the this the situation of the country is not getting any better soon uh, my hand is sore from my hands are sore from holding this camera yeah the situation of the country is not getting any better soon the price of things that you can you can even hear the sound of the generator in the background and uh, it petrol costs a fortune so imagine you know so imagine using i eat fish i eat fish i don't know if that's what on my lips here yeah. um yeah so imagine somebody having to use generator every day but, you know the nepa is i'm sorry they're useless you know uh, it's just sad that, uh, that people have to spend this amount of money to thank you for the light um, that's my niece putting on the light there for me so it's hard that people have to spend this amount of money just to have a constant uh, electricity because of the Nepal things the light is always being you know, over I don't know what's that on my life and you just go there and you see honestly it's really sad the situation of the country and there's no end in sight the poor are getting poorer and poorer and poorer I am tired I actually noticed that since I came to Nigeria, I get tired very easily. I think it's the heat. Heat kind of, you know, burns you out. I think so. It takes so much energy out of you. You know, it takes a lot of energy off you. I don't fall asleep this easily. But now, 6 o'clock, I'm already so tired, I want to sleep. And I could, I'd never be able to stay up late at all. But when I was living abroad, uh, when, you know, back abroad, I'm even tired. I was when I was back up um, abroad. Sometimes I could be awake two o'clock and I don't even feel like it. I don't know how to explain explain it. I don't understand the rationale. So, but like I said, the situation of the country is so bad. But anyways, um, what is it called now? I can't remember how. <laughs> I can't even remember how I started this talk. That's how tired. But anyways, I have to say it, Benin is where I've had the most, the most, the most fun so far. When I say fun, like, it's just the the place, you know. Um, we're driving we're driving past places I know from my childhood. We're driving, you know, and I'm meeting, meeting a lot of family members. I have a lot of family members in Benin, um, meeting them and all of that. But um, so yeah, I've had a lot of fun, and at the same time, the food, food has been amazing. The food has been amazing. The food has been amazing everywhere. My big, my baby sister made me a bono soup the other day, and I, I, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And so far, I actually ate a big fish today. I ate one last yesterday, and I ate another one today. A massive fish. I ate it with my brother's wife and it was absolutely delicious. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to end this video here and uh, and uh, please go. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be back in Lagos and I absolutely look forward to that. Um, let me end this one here. I am so tired. I'm going to go have a shower now and sleep. I was actually supposed to fly today but some things held me back. But for now I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time guys. Bye bye. Bye.